Hello. Uh, I was dumping all this stuff out of the bags, popping the tags, and then I was like, oh, maybe I should just film this uh, as like a thrift haul type video. So I look here. You're good? Um, so I'm just gonna show you everything I got at the thrifts yesterday. First up, we have a vintage L.L. Bean shirt. Made in USA. I love grabbing L.L. Bean. I didn't used to pick up um, their vintage or their modern stuff, but it sells super great for me now. I mean, I always grab their vintage stuff, but their modern stuff I didn't grab up like this. There's another one. Oh, but it just, it does great. You've listed for like, the modern stuff for like 1888. If it's just a basic shirt like that. Columbia, I've been grabbing a lot of Columbia. Fishing oriented stuff. Like this shirt, which has a fish print all over it. Also the uh, like vintage fishing shirts. Grabbing a lot of those. <clears throat> I don't grab that stuff really pretty much before like May. Hold on, I gotta get an energy drink. I'm tired. Anyways, I'm just showing you what I got. I don't have anything, you know, planned to say. Oh, that is a huge yellow stain all over it. It's probably trash. Uh, vintage, like, Wilson tennis shirt. I mean, I'm going to try to spray it and get it out, but who knows? This is all Salvation Army stuff, so some of it was, like, $1.50. Whoa, what was that? It's almost three dollars. What the heck was that? I just saw a huge fuzzy animal go through my backyard. And it was not a not a rabbit. We have lots of rabbits here. That was weird. It just like went right through there. Anyways, back to this. Just a quick silver shirt. I believe that one was half off, $1.50. Now we're on to some Goodwill stuff. This company's called 32 Bar Blues. Typically has a high sell through rate. Um, sells fast for like 20 to 30 bucks. This is a Foot Joy golf shirt. Not a high sell through rate on Foot Joy golf shirts. You can look it up. Uh, there's like 30,000 listed, 20,000 sold, I believe. Um, so it should take about nine months to sell one on average, but if, you, if you're going to sell them, you pretty much have to sell them within the first few weeks. Otherwise, they're just going to get lost in the other 30000 So what I do is I list them at like $18 plus shipping. Try to get somewhere between that $13 and $18. Um, and if not, too bad. But this one in particular has the tight list logo there so this one you get to list for like $35 and it's a good size XL here's another good one Peter Millar crown crafted similar to the uh, Peter Millar summer comfort it's like a performance stretchy material uh, because this has a cool pattern probably price it for like $28 or something I'll have to look up those again but when the golf shirts have a cool pattern like that one you price them up if they're plain you price them low because like I said you have to sell them as fast as possible otherwise they're gonna get lost in the 30,000 like I can sell Under Armour golf shirts um, for $15 the same day I listen for 18 whatever they sell for 15 but you gotta sell them the same day if you wait two months it's because I drop my prices it's gonna get down to five dollars before it sells it has to be up there in the algorithm in order to sell so you have to sell them quickly it's got a cool pattern though. Um, you can price it higher. Vintage Billabong shirt. Find lots of vintage surf and skate stuff here. I love it. Another, um, some of it can do really well. I find the not so great vintage surf and skate stuff like the Quicksilvers and the Billabongs. Or do you find like some vintage like indie stuff, like the cooler skate brands, um, blind. Line stuff's really good. Hookups, that stuff's really good. Stussy or Stussy. Here's another foot joy shirt with the tight list. Uh, that's, not, that's the tag. 
the tight list uh, logo there. It's gonna be good. Polar off linen shirt, plain, but it's a silk and linen blend, so it's gonna do well. Vintage Las Vegas shirt. I do really well with, because I find a lot of Las Vegas stuff around here, because I'm in Las Vegas, or I'm in a suburb of Las Vegas. Um, I find a lot of that stuff here, and it sells pretty well. Same with the golf stuff that also says Las Vegas. Got a North Face jacket. Paid 30 bucks for this. Only because it was new with tags, and it's size 2XL. Here's some stuff I paid up on. Got a uh, Patagucci shirt. I mean, not Pat yeah, Patagucci. Paid 13 bucks for this. Red tag, um, but it's a vintage fishing shirt. So I'm gonna do a little better than if it was not a vintage fishing shirt. New with tags, Columbia pants, 10 bucks. They had a whole uh, rack of red tags. This is not a red tag. This is from the Goodwill too. Just a foot joy, like performance, stretchy pullover, golf sweater thing. Can you see me? I feel like you can't see me. Is it recording? If I just go back here. Hey, Under Armour. Vinted button up shirt. I call them fishing shirts. They sell fast when you do that. Size so 2XL. It's made out of like a uh, kind of performance material. 511 Tactical. Everything does well for me. Uh, except for the t shirts. But I still grab them for like a buck. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to sell this company anymore. I always do this. I did it with Viore too. What do we pay? 12 bucks. It's a Gymshark. It's a jacket. I do well with Gymshark outerwear. I couldn't help it. I got that. I also got a Gymshark hoodie too. I couldn't help it. The hoodies sell fast. I know. I'm sorry. I also found some new Attack Gymshark stuff in the bins like a couple weeks ago and I got it. Uh, Link Soul, their polo shirts suck, their pants and their shorts don't suck. Half off of seven. Um, uh, Fox Ranger, I think this is like their mountain, uh, mountain bike line. It's a pair of, I think women's kind of like jogger, almost like a motocross style pant. Got two of those. Seven bucks on those. They're gonna do good. They're gonna do well. A basic Nike athletic t-shirt. This one has the like pinwheel logo on there. So I'll probably say that when I list it, but basic Nike stuff, basic Under Armour stuff. I do grab, but it's similar to the um, golf stuff. Uh, you gotta sell it fast or it's just, it's gonna get down there. Fox Ranger. Uh, women's shirt. I think this is I got a couple of these. I think they're like mountain bike jersey shirts only two listed two sold So it's got a 90 day sell through but low volume So when I list all these I'm Gonna totally uh, They won't have that sell through anymore until I sell them, but one of them sold for 30 bucks. So I was like yeah. I could just drop the prices another pair of link sole shorts Like I said the shorts and the pants, they're good. Uh, 13, or 13.99, I guess. For a uh, North Face jacket. It's a man, 2XL, I don't know. I don't know what it's worth. I just try to get, only North Face I really buy is like they're like convertible pants, more technical stuff or their outerwear. RLX, this was probably the biggest mistake of the day. RLX isn't that great right now. And I paid seven bucks for this. It's an RLX hoodie that's kind of like distressed. This is from Salvation. It's just everything I got yesterday. Um, 
Duck Bay. I didn't look this up. I thought it was cool. It's a field jacket. It's camo. It's vintage. It's going to sell. Let's see. Paid up on this guy. Paid up a lot on this guy. Um, it's Patagonia. 2XL. Like button-up shirt. Their button-up shirts are the worst item. So this is a barely profitable item. That will sell. Um, but I try to have like as much, if I see Patagonia on the rack, it doesn't matter if it's barely profitable, I throw it in the store. Cause it's like, um, it's like an advertisement for the store. You know what, you got Patagonia in there, you got a bunch of $15 Patagonia shirts or whatever. People come in and then maybe they buy those uh, North Face uh, convertible pants that have been sitting there for a couple months and they're like, well, maybe uh, I need a Merino base layer. So they go get the Merino base layer. So I try to have a lot of outdoor stuff. That's like my favorite category. And during the summer, I like to have a lot of golf stuff, which is why I got this Nike golf shirt for $3. Um, and this one has, I think this is a Hawaiian golf course, hopefully, because the Hawaiian golf courses sell. And here are some Under Armour pants. Because to you guys, to a lot of you guys, it takes you 30 minutes to do one listing. For me, you just throw it, you go boom, 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 boom. I sold similar off my own solds. No one else has sold. It takes like three minutes. Okay, I'm just... Because people say, oh, why would you sell that? It's not worth the time. If I'm already there, I'm still talking about the Patagonia thing. I'm just arguing with an imaginary person. If I'm already, and I have unlimited money to spend in the thrift. Unlimited. So if you have a budget, maybe don't buy the barely profitable Patagonia shirt. But I can afford to just keep throwing them in because my average purchase price is $450 or whatever. So even when I buy that, even when I spend $30 on the North Face jacket, my average is still gonna not change because it's such a small amount, you know what I mean? And my average sold price is $24.50. A basic Under Armour shirt. So as long as everything fits within the margins and everything's good, then we're all good. A uh, pair of Nike joggers. I grab damn near all the Nike joggers and Under Armour joggers that I find and I look up the style code when I listen. I don't, so what I do is I take a picture of that tag, flip it over, take a picture of that tag, boom, and I flip it over, take a picture of that tag. I don't do that for every Nike thing, but for the bottoms, I do, because you can get significantly more money. This Patagonia was only 10 bucks, but it's got some pilling on it. Um, so I gotta do a little shaving on there. It's a men's medium. Probably like 30, 35 bucks for that. This I got for myself because I've been liking wearing tank tops lately. Like kind of like vintage baggy looking ones. Um, this one says Sammy Hager on it. The dude from, uh, what's the band? Van Halen. Rourke, this company is really good. I've sold a lot of their button-ups, their t-shirts. I've never found their pants before. So I have no idea what this is worth, but usually everything is pretty high sell-through. For Rourke, R-O-A-R-K, or Rourke Revival. Hey, Travis Matthew, Polo. Definitely don't buy these during the winter. Um, four bucks. Just a basic vintage shirt that says Niagara Falls. It's like one of those double collar Double sleeve ones. Made in Canada, huh? Cool. And these shirts are all, well, like they're either three bucks or $1.50 from Salvation. This one, I think that there was a vintage shirt with the same graphic. Who is that? Spike Lee? It's either Spike Lee or Spike Jones. They're both directors. Can't remember which one's which. And there's Jordan. It's not the vintage one. I th the vintage one would probably be worth like hundreds. I don't know. It's just a mountain shirt. I always grab them. They're like these basic tie dye shirts that have animal prints and outdoor prints and stuff like that. This one I got just so I could look it up. Cause this tag here is a Nike care tag. 
Maybe it's not. It's made in USA. It's a. It's definitely not Nike because it says SPL on the tag. So I was gonna look it up just to see if like did Nike have a line of, like college? Did they make college apparel in the '90s that was not marketed under Nike? Um. So I just wanted to kind of do some research on it because it is a vintage made in USA tag with a Nike center check UNLV Rebels. So I kind of wanted to look that up. It's probably worth like $10. Um, another button up uh, Under Armour vented fishing shirt type thing. Nice, soft, and breathable. This company's called Laurel Birch. Uh, this was in the men's section, but if you hit the women's t shirt section, which I do sometimes, you'll probably find some Laurel Birch and you'll. Also, Fresh Produce is another good uh, women's t-shirt. Just for the basic t-shirts, it's good to know which ones are good to grab because the t-shirts are usually the cheapest thing. This one has a stain on it. But it's Laurel Birch. I guess she's probably an artist or something. She makes these little dog prints. But you list them for like 30 bucks and they sell. And uh, same with the uh, Fresh Produce shirts. You list them for like 28, 30 bucks. This is Pebble Beach. Not good, uh, but it was only a dollar. So we threw it in the cart. Kind of fits with the theme. Vintage single stitch. Hawaii Save Our Reefs, cool graphic. That's why I got it. Probably 10 to 15 bucks. 5'11 tactical pants. Uh, depending on the size, they can have a really high sell through rate, but the price is always around 20 25 bucks, maybe 18 to 25 bucks. Uh, Nike golf shirt, women's half off barbell apparel. This company's pretty good. Beep. I think it's made in Las Vegas. They make athletic stuff. XCVI, half off of uh, six. I've done really well with this company, and then I've done not so well. This one was, you know, on the cheap, so I grabbed it. I hit a women's jacket section and a women's uh, athletic shirt section. That's how I ended up with this stuff. Uh, Fox Ranger shirt. I think I already said it. There was two listed, two sold. So low volume, high sell through rate, good prices. An Under Armour, like lightweight, athletic, stretch, performance golf pullover shirt. Six bucks. List them for like, well, it depends on the size. Somewhere between 18 and $24. But you got to sell them immediately. So if somebody sends you that $14 offer, boom, you take it. A uh, Air Jordan shirt. A pair of Lululemon shorts. That's what I saw. And I knew they were Lululemon. For the pants section and the short section, I basically just walk by like this. Sometimes I do a little flipping, but I can pretty much see the good stuff based on the material like this. Uh, vintage, made in USA. 517s in a crazy good size, in my opinion. Uh, 3036 made in USA. Orange tag. But unfortunately, they've been cut off at the ankles. So they're worth way less now, in my opinion. And factually, probably gonna sell price them at like $35. 517s are really good right now. Same with 527s. The boot cut styles. Pretty sure. Is 517 a bootcut style? I don't know, but 517s do well. Anytime you find a 517, look it up in the specific size that you have. And 527s, pretty much any size is good, except for big sizes. People think big sizes are good, they're not good. For vintage jeans, you want the little sizes. Like 28 to 33. Waist. Cabela's, big heavyweight. Um, it's a Polar Tech fleece. Yeah. I like Cabela's. 
especially in like big sizes, their outerwear, their hunting gear, that kind of stuff. Got another Under Armour pullover. I thought this was cool. It's a, uh, made in USA? Yeah. Craft with Pride in USA. It's a uh, vintage UM, USMC, US Marine Corps, like baseball jersey shirt. I don't know, I thought it was cool. Could be worthless. And then we've got a basic plain Under Armour Golf Polo, which I will list for $18.88. And except damn near anything over $10 for. It was half off of six. And that is everything that I uh, found in the thrifts. Thank you for watching.